Before she turns 14, the average Australian girl has seen pornography. For young women, that's two years earlier than when we last surveyed. And while most young people see porn as sexist, racist and violent, a third still watch it for sex education. It is also normalising that that is what a relationship looks like between young men and young women. The Our Watch Impact of Pornography on Young People report surveyed more than 800 young Australians. 84% agreed porn pushed stereotypes of what is expected in sex. 72% said it showed aggression and violence against women. 79% believe it impacts how women are seen in real life. The findings don't surprise Daniel Principe. I was shown pornography when I was 11 years of age. Uh, I wasn't searching for it. It became default sex education. And shaped my ideas about sex and consent and respect for, for many years before I got some alternative information. Which he's passing to the next generation. We need to help boys unpack the messages they receive. He's on a mission to educate. Understand the harms of pornography. And empower. If we're going to prevent all violence against women, we need to make sure that we've got all of the parts of the puzzle working together. So legislation is one part of that puzzle. Education is a really important part of that puzzle. It's now mandatory for Australian schools to teach consent and respectful relationships. But some advocates say those courses need to include specific lessons about the impact of pornography. Sex education has come a long way. Some teenagers still don't know how pregnancy is caused. Advocates say it's time to talk openly. I think with all these conversations, it's really important that young people know that they're not bad, wrong or in trouble and that their parents aren't failing them. We're fighting a $97 billion industry that conservatively makes up 30% of the internet. Separating online fantasy from reality. Cyan Valance, ABC News.